Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how it's possible for boats to actually float in the air. Recently on the internet, there was a picture of a sailboat floating in the sky above the horizon, and it drove the internet crazy trying to figure out what was actually happening here. Was it faked or was it actually a real picture? So let's head out to the ocean to see if we can actually see any boats floating above the horizon. Okay, so I'm here at the ocean to see if I can see the effect of the floating ship. Let's look at some ships out there and see if we can see any that look like they're above the horizon. So it looks like some of these boats that are really far away, they seem to be a little bit above the horizon, but not a really strong effect here. Now on days where this effect is really strong, here's what it can look like. You can see that the boats seemingly float above the horizon. So in order for a ship to appear as if it's above the horizon, some bending of light has to occur. Now you remember that light doesn't always travel at the speed of light when it's moving through different materials. Depending on the density of the material, it moves at different speeds. And what that amounts to is as it passes through a material, it bends when it's a different density. And cold air has a higher refractive index than warm air. So what that means is on cold days when the water is cooling the air just above it and the air is hotter above the cold air, it means that you can actually see things that are even below the horizon. And it can actually lift that image up higher than the horizon itself. Now the effect of these ships floating is called Fata Morjana, and it basically means that it's a mirage, but it's a little bit different than a mirage. A mirage is when you see a mirror image of an object far off in the distance, and a mirage is caused when there's hot air on the ground and cold air above it. But this effect that I'm showing here is when there's cold air below and hot air above, and it actually bends light the opposite way than in a mirage. Now in order to show you how this effect is happening, I'm going to use some sugar in water, and the sugar is going to create a gradient from the bottom going upward. So at the bottom, it's going to be a higher refractive index than above it. And so it's going to create the same effect that we're seeing when the ships are floating above the horizon. You can see the bending of light that occurs when I shine a laser through the water here. It's actually pulling the laser light down, bending the light. For example, suppose that this metal ball here is my ship, and the bottom of this square acrylic box here is the horizon or the ocean. So we can see it still, we can see it, we can see it. Now I'm below the box, but I can still see the ball. Okay, so there's the ball. Now as I move down, I'm gonna get below the edge of the box, but I can still see the ball. <laughs> So I'm a few inches below it, and I can still see the ball right there. <laughs> it's pretty cool. In fact, a little bit better than laser light, you can follow the path of the bottom corner of the box and look how bent it looks. So watch as I get down low, watch the background here. Watch how it lenses everything. In fact, it makes it look like there's a slope here. So you can see the edge going up there, but there's actually not a slope there. It's actually just flat. You can see it's just flat like that. Now the ability to sometimes see things below the horizon occurs more than you think. In fact, at sunsets on the ocean, a lot of times when you see the bright red sun, when the sun is at the lowest point, the sun is actually below the horizon. It's actually below the curvature of the earth but because of the bending of light, it actually appears above it. The reason it appears above the horizon is because of how our brains are wired to think. We're wired to know that light usually moves in straight lines. So when we see something above us, we expect that that's the angle of light coming in at us. When in reality, it's actually from below and the light's just curving. But because our brains don't think that way, we assume it's at a straight line wherever we're seeing it. And this effect can be pretty strong sometimes. Sometimes you can see mountains that normally you would never be able to see because of the curvature of the earth. You can actually see them above the horizon. 
And when the effect is really strong, it can actually even flip the image upside down. So sailors have even reported seeing boats coming in upside down floating above the horizon, thinking they're ghost ships. Because of the bending of light that can occur near the horizon, whether there's hot air or cold air there, it can bend the light up or down. You usually can't trust stuff that you see on the horizon. That's why astronomers don't really trust when they see a star at the horizon. They try to aim as far up straight as they can in the sky when they're taking measurements on stars and locations of stars in the sky. And it also makes it a difficult proof if you're trying to prove the Earth is round using the horizon, because depending on the temperature of the ocean that day and the temperature of the air above it, you can get light bending in either direction, so you can't really tell if something's below or above the horizon a lot of times. Now, this effect is also called looming, and it can cause things to appear bigger than they actually are, smaller than they are. It can actually occur and make them flip upside down as well. Because this effect is dependent on the temperature of the air, whenever the temperature of the air changes, it changes the image as well. And so it frequently makes things appear ghost-like. It can cause them to change as you're seeing them and even disappear. So you'll be seeing a ship on the horizon and then suddenly it disappears. So remember, you can't always trust your eyes. And thanks again for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and also hit the bell so that you can be notified when I release my latest video. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.